Yo everybody, this is Rocky the Great, aka The Toy Bookie, and in today's video, I'm very excited about this one. We are going to be going over my Halloween diorama that I literally just finished today. This was not even an hour build. It's very easy, very simple. We're going to be going over, um, we're going to be going over the diorama itself, and then I have, uh... Uh, DIY, no, work in progress, not WIP, not DIY. Work in progress shots going to be at the end, and I'm going to explain what everything is so you could build this. This is so easy, so simple, and uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So, this is the famous scene uh, in Halloween 1 where we see Michael Myers jump out of the bush, and uh, we just recently watched it again, so that that scene was fresh in my mind. And I, and then once we saw this grass again, because this is seasonal item. If you if you want to get this fake grass for your dioramas, I just made a whole video about it. So you just go back to my last video for more information. But basically, this is fake grass, and it's a seasonal item. So. I waited all year just to get more of it because I've used it in my past diorama. So once I, I picked this up yesterday and I said, oh, I know exactly what I'm going to be doing, like using that for. And so today happened, this morning after I had my morning coffee, I just pumped this diorama out so quickly and I am actually very uh, happy with how it came out. So we're going to be going over um, what I did and then also... We're just going to be looking at it. So let's let's just dive right into it. So here, I'll zoom out a little bit. Um, this is the front shot. We'll get... This is the neck of Mike Myers, so it's not... See, there you go. Hold on, look at that. I didn't finish this back. I might, I might just put the rest of it right here so I could get shots from this way. But um, as of now, it's finished, you know, because, I mean... It's, we don't really see this side with him at least and or this side so these two sides aren't finished but I could always finish that in the future uh, let's let's get the details because this is what it you don't realize like you could do a really simple diorama and then just add a few little details and it really just makes everything jump so all this is is this is XPS foam you know the insulation foam that uh, everyone uses for their dioramas the Lowe's one is blue, and the Home Depot one is pink, so if you've ever seen people use those type of things for diorama stuff, that's what that is. And then the floor, uh, the concrete floor, is foam board. So this is the stuff that you would get at the Dollar Tree, or poster board you get at the Dollar Tree, or dollar stores. You know, the stuff that kids make the those um, your projects with. So this is the concrete on the bottom, and then for support... I decided to use a the cardboard from a just like just normal cardboard for the bottom so I glued it together so it's just it's thicker because the foam board is not that thick you know if I was using the XPS foam I wouldn't have to do that so that's just a tip for you if you do try to do this um, I would always re you know reinforce it all right then I have a video on these leaves how to make these little leaves so if you're trying to make these little leaves for your dioramas in general, not necessarily a Halloween di um, diorama, go back a few videos, check out my video on how to make miniature leaves. So there we go, we got everything. This is basically like a accumulation of all my, my tutorials that I've been doing recently. Uh, this is also XBS foam, and I just wrapped it and then spray painted it a different color because I thought it was green bush too, but the bush is kind of like brown purple and it's different in each uh, shot that I've seen because it is old film, so you really can't get a HD look of it. So it's it's brown or purple, but I'm going to go with brown, dark green because it, it looks fine to me. Then what else we got? Wow, I kind of, this was just the details were done with a pen for the sidewalk and I just brushed it lightly. I didn't even do, I swear, I didn't even do the full paint on this. I didn't do like layers and this and that. I, I just spray painted it. I got, people have a, spray paint has a very negative uh, kind of, uh, I was gonna use a big word, but I'm not that smart. Connotation? connotation? Reputation. Reputation. No, but what's a connotation? What's connotation? connotation? I don't know, listen, I'm not that smart, I'm not pretending to be. Um, people, diorama people, look at spray paint in a negative way. And I think it's because 
Uh, well, I'm not going to judge them, but I think spray paint could be easily mishandled doing the right way, right? So you're going to, if you do it the right way, you can get away with spray painting your dioramas. And I am a big believer in that. I just realized my Michael Myers has two left feet. No. All right, I'll look at that later. Bro, I'm so destroyed right now. I'll, I got to contact NECA. But um, I literally just noticed because I was like, he's his not standing correctly. But um, so spray paint could be used for dioramas on foam. It does eat your foam if you stand like two inches away from it and spray. So what I, you know, you always want to do a base coats on your dioramas. And so... I think painting it by hand is so time consuming. I don't know about you, but you know, I, I do even have the time. I just don't want to waste time. I like to, all my diorama tutorials, I like to go right to the meat and potatoes. And that's why a lot of people actually say they follow me because, you know, I cut out a lot of stuff and I get right to it. And my videos aren't flashy, but they get the job done. And that's, I take pride in that. So spray paint your projects, but also the spray paint that I will recommend. Oops. Oh, Mike is doing backflips. All right. Don't ever buy anything but 2X for your dioramas, in my opinion. So if you're going to buy spray paint for your dioramas, 2X Rust-Oleum. That's the only thing that works, and I will stand by this. So if you mess up your diorama, you know, you could message me and uh, you could vent, but, you know, I'm not going to do anything for you. I'll just be like, next time spray it a little bit further away. Yeah, that's about it, man. It's a really simple diorama, but it's very effective, I feel like. And, and people are going to know right away what you're trying to do. Like, this is one of those iconic scenes. The diorama also fits in a Detolf cabinet. That is, huh, that's a glass Ikea cabinet that a lot of collectors use. I always forget... Each video might be someone's first video into toy stuff, so I don't like using all the the, sl the slingo, I was going to say, the lingo that, you know, people who've been collecting a long time use. Yeah, so I think that's about it. Any questions, always come down below. Uh, and here comes my work in progress shots. And yeah, that's it, guys. Enjoy. Hey everybody, this is Rocker Great, and I just wanted to let everyone know, new and old fans, that we reopened the Stay Great Apparel merch website, and there's a lot of cool new designs, and we also restocked a lot of our older classic designs that people love. So definitely head on over, the link is in the description, or you could just look up teespring slash stores slash stay great. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Rock of the Great, a.k.a. The Toy Bookie. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. It helps promote my videos to other people because YouTube doesn't want to. And if you like what you see, subscribe because I do a lot of other content like this. I am a diorama maker and an artist. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, at Rock of the Great. I am a graphic designer. I've done work with bands from Taken Back Sunday all the way to Mod Sun. I do other graphic design work. I've done some comic book stuff, comic work stuff. And if you like toys and you're into that type of stuff, I have a whole nother thing called The Toy Bookie on Instagram. And I do toy photography. I do toy reviews. I do toy dioramas. Very cool stuff on there. Definitely check those two things out. And see you later, guys. Peace.